We wanted to bring the kids to Washington, D.C. for the weekend, and this lock house is the perfect place to stay. It's only a short ride by car or bike to the monuments and all the Smithsonian museums. The CNO Canal National Historical Park is a popular spot for residents of Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, and the District of Columbia to run, paddle, bike, and hike. It's also a popular tourist destination, hosting over 5 million visitors each year, making it the ninth most visited national park in the nation. The CNO Canal begins in Georgetown, downstream right in the heart of the District of Columbia, and goes 184.5 miles west, all the way out to Cumberland, Maryland. Residents of our nation's capital use the park on a daily basis as a way to escape the rat race and to recharge their batteries in this beautiful natural surrounding. <laughs> I can't believe this park is so close to the city. It's really the best of both worlds. The Sino Canal broke ground in 1828 as a transportation route to bring materials and agriculture from the west to eastern markets. The Potomac River was too rocky to support boat navigation. So the canal allowed boats to travel smoothly while being pulled by mules. There are 74 lift locks that accommodate the changes in the canal's elevation. And these locks were tended by lock keepers who needed to be available day or night to operate the locks when canal boats approached. The lock keepers lived in small houses along the canal, which today are available to guests for overnight stays. After a series of devastating floods, the canal closed to boat traffic in 1924. In 2007, lock houses were deteriorating and the National Park Service was looking for a creative way to preserve them. The Sino Canal Trust partnered with the National Park Service to create the Canal Quarters Program and now six of the old lock houses have been rehabilitated and are open for overnight stays. Look you guys, this place is decorated like the 1950s. Your grandparents were just kids back then. Each lock house is furnished to represent a different period of the canal's history. Oh, wow! My Grammy had bowls like these. This is Lock House 6, which has been furnished in the 1950s time period to tell the story of Justice William O. Douglas and others who worked to save the canal. Back in the 1950s, there was a proposal to turn the abandoned canal lands into a parkway for automobiles. Justice Douglas spent every Sunday walking the towpath and was adamantly opposed to the idea. He ended up walking the entire 184.5 mile long towpath over nine days in order to draw attention to the beauty and the tranquility of this area. Douglas's walk brought a lot of attention needed to preserve this land as a park space, which is what eventually happened. This lock house can sleep up to eight people. It's one of our most popular lock houses due to the fact that it is within biking distance of many of the Washington, D.C. attractions. It also has heat, air conditioning, running water, and a kitchen. All the comforts of home. It's been fun watching my kids experience life before cell phones and computers. We played games together and danced to oldies on the radio. Lockhouse 6 is available for $150 a night for an overnight stay. We also have other lock houses that are available for $100 to $150 a night. You can visit canaltrust.org to see all six lock houses and to go ahead and reserve your stay.